In the world today, we have a lot of different types of people. We, of course, have a binary system that most people see and not everyone sees. That binary system says we have men and we have women in the world. A lot of people are misconstruing the word of God with regard to that spectrum of people. The spectrum of people more of the native Indians around the world recognize. In all the native Indian oriented cultures where they're sort of considered third world nations, they have an understanding of the spectrum of men and women. And that in some cultures there are men who live with men and lay with men and behave with men as if they're a couple. And in some Indian culture there are women who lay with women and do all those sort of things in their culture. These are people who wear loincloths, these are people who wear special ceremonial, ceremonial robes, and these are people who have been considered all around the world to be a good example of all the types of people. The difference in those primitive cultures is that they regard the Lord much more than we do in our affluence and influence and technological and scientific advancements. Those people study the child and accept the soul the Lord has given them. They don't see the body as the preliminary or controlling rights on that child. And that's the fascinating thing. So we have cultures that still hunt in the, in the forest and the woods and battle snakes and alligators and all that, but those people regard the soul. And so they kind of have the that ultimate uh, cross-platform concept of they had people hunting across the, the concepts of gender a long time ago. And I think people get what I'm saying about that. We're just now letting women in football and hockey and all that. But the reality is in the real world of living in the elements and living in forests and nations that are underdeveloped, they have had that all their living and all their life and all their lineage of their tribes. You see, it does take a village to raise a child, but it is a tribe that promotes a business person, a professional, and whatnot. So I'm going to shift the conversation to move a little bit forward. Instead of talking about the spectrum of gender and the spectrum of men and women, the spectrum of people and the spectrum of what the Lord has created, I'm going to talk more about the soul. You see, the soul is what the Lord wishes us all to uplift. It is the soul that is in us that the Lord has presented within a human being. But that human being, that physical entity, that property of matter goes through a channel and it can be impacted by all kinds of things of the mother, the father, and you know what, the environment and whatnot. I'm not really getting into the concept of talking about gender and all these ridiculous little letters that we try to shove on people because none of that shit matters to the Lord. The Lord makes all people, no matter what their gender is, no matter what their body is, no matter what their defects are, no matter what's going on for them, the Lord made it all. So that's something that we can get from indigenous nations that are smarter than American culture and American people and certainly American Christians and Catholics. But what I'm talking about really is the regard for the human soul. And the human soul is what we need to have more regard for because it's the human soul that lives in a vessel. And that vessel could be anything. We have all kinds of science fiction films where somebody has lost a lot of limbs and then they become somewhat robotic. And I think Robocop was sort of one of those great original films and is probably being done today in our military with people who need to have their limbs replaced after having it sadly blown off. But what I'm really talking about is the regard for the human soul. The regard for the human soul is what Americans live for, strive for, and know very well. Because in our Constitution, or on our dollar bills, and wherever the heck it's written everywhere, is we are one nation, indivisible under God. And what that means is that everything under God is made by God. The Bible says this, the Quran says this, the Kabbalah says this, the Jewish book says this, the Talmud said this, and openly that's the truth. The people of the world, the people of every nation, know that there is a God. Unfortunately, there are some nations in the East and Middle East that have forgotten who is God. And they train their children to hate in the name of their version of God. But the true version of God is the love of people, the love of the soul, the human soul that shines through our lives. And our soul is required by the Lord to shine on other people so that their soul can shine 